Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I have something very exciting to talk about. So recently we have gotten some development for Wings of Fire Early Access that changes absolutely everything. So before we go into the background information, let's just look at the videos first. So what we have in this first video is a much more advanced menu. So we have our character, we have quest, we have inventory, we have house, we have map, and then settings and main menu. So this is a big expansion on what we've seen originally. Obviously none of this has been added yet, it's just a development video. So in the inventory area we seem to have scales so we all have scales right now but also fish sticks bones and berries you are also able to drop sell and hold them so i'm guessing that you get your fish you get your stick you get your bone you get your berry and then you actually sell them for scales instead of just getting scales automatically when you fish like what happens right now it also seems like you can donate stuff to other people with the drop function so overall it seems like this is adding a whole different like part of the game for actually getting scales so another change that we can kind of see in this menu is that it seems like in the future you're going to be able to remove your armor while in game instead of having to completely reset and then remove the accessory from the main menu. This is great because it makes it so that people don't have to reset completely and then go to the main menu to then change and remove the armor accessory in order to either remove or add it. So this is just great because armor is a big accessory and in sometimes during the roleplay you might want it but then in other times you don't want it so it really just helps that you're able to change it without having to go through the complete hassle of leaving the game and finally the last tab we get is of the settings and this settings has some more stuff you're able to remove the top bar time the top bar scales on the top bar server so if you just want a more simple top bar without all that information it will hopefully be an option in the future personally i don't think that i'll really take advantage of this but i know that some people might want it so developers didn't go over quest house or map so i'm guessing that the map will just show you where people are or just be like a mini map to look at I'm not sure what the house is. Maybe it'll give you options about which house you want to pick. And then quests, I'm guessing are the quests for accessories. But right now, those are just my best guesses because I don't have any inside information about any of this. So the second video that we have is of the Mudwing running around. The animation is looking great and the Mudwing model is looking amazing. Obviously, this doesn't mean that the Mudwing is going to be added immediately or anything like that. But it's definitely nice to see that the changes are being made. And I feel like the Mudwing has the best animations of any dragon so far. So it seems like the developers are really taking their time to be sure that they get the Mudwing correct. So now some background information that I think is almost as important as the development itself. So the developer has stated that they aren't super motivated for the past two years and that's why development has been slow. So that's completely understandable. But the good news is that they don't want to abandon the project and they want to continue working on it and making the game better and better. So that means that even though development might be slow, development is still happening. They also said that a lot of the development being done is for optimization to make the game easier to play on weaker devices and just to make it easier to add features later on. This is really nice here because it lets us know that development is still going on even if we don't exactly see it. Anyway, I want to say thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.